So doon yung parang, ay, kaya ko pala, may tama pala akong ginagawa. So that was a very crucial moment. And that's where it started. Kaya ganun yung impact sa akin. Na naman faith, hindi ko yung bit. What's your role here in Family History? Uh, I play Marcos, the friend and bandmate of Miguel and Felix. The dynamics of friendship related to the dynamics of family. Mm -hmm. Na si Miguel when he's torn in between. Kanina siya kumukunta, kanina siya sino kinakausap niya about it and nag-iba yung mood niya dahil dun sa mga nangyayari sa bahay niya, di ba? It also shows the aspect of yun, the importance of where you go home. Uh, yung environment mo sa bahay na uh, it affects you outside. So kami yung outside. Yan, parang ganun. Did you prepare anything like workshops before making this film? Well, um, workshops constant naman ako ng workshop kahit may film or wala. But specifically for this role, I was just asked to prepare. Um, kasi since banda nga kami, at sana may organic yung film. Nag-attempt kami mag-try na maging banda talaga. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kaya Miguel. Kasi Miguel does play. Nahiya lang siya kung banda pero kung banda rin naman siya talaga. Okay. So, ayun, new recording. Nandun kami. Yung song na si Spotify ngayon, yung Black Pen. By Miguel Tan Felix and ako and Zimwe. Si Makoy at si Kuya Bitoy ng Sinan. Uh, Makoy Fundalis of, of Orange and Lemons. Ay, hindi na pala. Hindi na pala siya Orange and Lemons. <laughs> Sorry. Huwag yun lang ulit. Pero, ayun, yun. We collaborated to come up with that track. So, doon palang organic na yung feel eh, na it's it's pag piniplay siya sa scene or kapag ginamit na namin sa scene, mafeel mo talagang, ah, kanta to ng banda namin. Kasi kami talagang gumawa. Hindi siya yung pinatugtog lang na, or ito yung sa script. Hindi. Kami talaga gumawa kasi. Ayun. So, uh, from acting, singing, and modeling. And sorry? From acting, singing, and modeling, which is more hiyang to you? <laughs> Parang hindi ko na kinaconsider na model lang. <laughs> yung model. Because you were, um, in your profile, like, you were built as, a, as one. Sa Instagram, yeah. Oh. Maybe, yeah, maybe. Pero, I just like really taking photos. Kasi mm -hmm. hindi naman sa, gusto ko mag-model. Magkataon <laughs> lang. But, um, really, I can't choose. Kasi, one benefits for the other. Like, my acting craft helps me become more expressive and honest with my songwriting and music. And my music makes me more, um, paano ba? Mas flowy, mas, mas, mas nagiging may rhythm yung acting ko. So it helps both ways. And I'm getting opportunities for both. So, at this day and age, really, do I, <laughs> hindi ko na kailangan na kailangan na ito mapili. <laughs> Parang, mabubuhay na ako ng itong dalawang ito ginagawa. So you're happy for both worlds? Yeah, yeah, I'm getting the best of both worlds yes. actually, di ba na? One, yun nga, hindi na kaya patulad before na you just have to focus on one, but now with the availability of social media and then everything na dami nang nagmumuntay task, it's, it's a win-win for me and for both aspects. Na, I, I get to do even more, like I even get to write. Yeah, I start ako ng script writing workshop kayo na kili-kili. Tapos nag... Ayun nga, I score films, I, I, I stop singing but I'm producing songs for other artists and at the same time I get to act. So, feeling ko parte na siya ng sistema ko talaga. I, I can't be with just one of those. Who influenced you to script writing and but, um, to uh, filmmaking? Filmmaking. Filmmaking only started when I got too in, got deep with acting. Na parang, there are roles that I would want to do as an actor. So, paano kaya kung ako yung mga ng script ko or ng character ko? It started from there. And eventually, andun na sa point na kailangan ko matutunan. Yung sabi na doon, ako na doon, right? Yan, nag-workshop ako ng script right here. Also, may bit of influence me kasi gusto niya rin yung may initiative kami sa mga pulgano to start doing our own material for the act. Ano lang, kasi iba rin kapag sariling material mo yung naarte mo yun. Yes. Iba yung, iba yung nagagawa niya sa akin. Iba yung like, I mean, tested and proven with Michael V, yes. di ba? Ano yung material niya pag ginagawa niya. Kinala niya sarili niya, kinala niya audience niya. Wala na ibang mga nagawa niya. 
So, hopefully, magawarin namin sana yun with his guidance and with the workshops we're taking. I'm taking. Na, ayun na. It's, it's, it's just really, I'm at that point na parang go lang ng go, aral ng aral. Anything that would help me create and decreate and contribute to this industry na sobrang mahal. So, what's going to be the genre of your first project? Ah, hindi ka pa alam. Pero it's experimental. It's it's leaning towards drama and realism. Pero, um, meron siyang music. Uh, it, it's, I started this concept with the thought of gusto ko magkaroon ng visual venue, yung mga songs. Na, hindi yung pag magsusulat ka ng song, di ba? Ah, saan mo bigyan na ito maganda yung page? Maghihintay ka pa. Sabi ko hindi, mag-aaral ang script writing and then, nagawa ko ang album ko tapos, bawat song sa album ko ako gagawa ng short film. Para, para di ba na, kasi kapag isusunod ka ng kanta, parang na-imagine mo na, ah, bagay ito sa ganito eksena. Mm-hmm. Pero, ano, maghihintay pa ako ng pili ko lang may ganito eksena. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'd rather make my own. So, uh, ito pa, explore din. How is it working with Michael V and Don Silveta? Uh, is it, was it intimidating? With Don, grabe kasi yung glow niya. Eh. Iba yung glow ni Don Silveta. We didn't really get to work together. We didn't have scenes together. Kami ni Don. Pero, may nangyari sa amin ng story ko. <laughs> Nakakaya. So, parang, story ko, nandiyan ako po kami to serve ng food. You know? Tapos, binigyan kami ng... Uh, yung meal. Tapos, tapos sa lahat. May sinerve na leche sa ng kaito. Tapos, akala namin lahat kami meron. Tapos, so, tingin kami sa waiter. Tapos, ang tagal mo lang pinibigay. Tapos, yun matapos yung story ko. Hindi ko nalaw eh. Kinuha, kinain namin. Tapos na eh. Yung pala, baon na yun! <laughs> As in, caught in the act na kinakain namin. Tapos, ampis doon. Kinakain na po namin yung let's explain din. Baon mo pala to. So, what was your reaction? <laughs> Nakakahiya. Tapos, after yun, may reading pa kami ng script. So, parang dahil tayo, namumula na ako. Kasama ko si Ina Filea doon eh. Parang kami dalawa, pang kinakain namin yung let's explain din. Don't do it. Unforgettable. Oh, yun yung unforgettable. Yun lang yung only encounter na I mean, yun pa, ganun pa. Tapos birthday niya pa. Tapos may pag-akit kasi doon, lumipag kami ng venue para mag-table reading. Tapos birthday niya, happy birthday. Tapos parang, <laughs> baon niya yung Richie Flan na yun, pang birthday niya yun sa sarili niya. So you now know what to give her. <laughs> oh, diba? Oh. <laughs> Ayun. Pero with Kuya naman, it's always a privilege to be working with with her. Diba? Parang, Kuya Bitoy actually was one of my main inspiration dun sa pagiging multifaceted ng ginagawa. Na before, yung start pa lang ako na ito ng management na, ano mo gusto mo talaga magiging yeah. Singer o actor? Ano kaya naman, Mim? Eh? Si Michael B. nga eh. Lagi ganun. Si Michael B. Eh. Michael B. ito ginagawa. Michael B. nga eh. Michael B. Laging ganun. Until na-meet ko na siya. Ka-work kami. And then, si Michael B. nga. <laughs> Pero, nung time kasi na wala mo yung projects, nag-guest ako sa Pipi. Tapos napadalas yung pagpalik. Tapos, sobrang laking contribution ng show na yun sa turning point sa akin sa kanila. Kasi I was at the point that I was almost ready to let go of the industry na yun. It's not for me. Tapos, may pipito ako. Okay, sige. So, sinawag ka ulit. Tapos, ah, talaga? So, dun yung parang, kaya ko pala. May tama pala akong ginagawa. So, that was a very crucial moment. And that's where it started. Kaya ganun yung impact sa akin ng faith ni Kuya Bitoy. Ayun, tapos napag-guess na rin sa Bumble Gang and then eventually nag-paratime shift na rin ako na ang tagal lang nandito, nung tumagal na ang naging next dilemma ko naman yung sandi na parang ang tagal lang nandito yung Bumble Gang sa Kuya Bitoy sa harap. At ang dami ko pang ipanginahanap. Gusto ko mag-drama, gusto ko mag-ganyan-ganyan. Ito nandiyan na o na may gusto nang tumulong sa'yo. Di ba may naniniwala lang sa'yo? So why not? take it fully. So, doon ako nag-decide na, ah, sige, yung comedy na ako full class. Focus ako sa comedy. Kahit sa sulat ko, sa ilang. So, yun. Have you ever thought of doing action movies? Yeah, yeah. Um, med- oh, oh. Uh, there's actually one I'm doing. 
Uh, it's 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 action comedy. I'm not sure if I could say the title, but it's gonna be on TV, okay. and it's gonna be really interesting. So action are, comedy. Are you preparing it physically? I am. I am. Um, okay. me, me, medyo matagal naman ako nagbo-boxing. Okay. Pero for this, I have to learn Kali. Parang arinus na ano, martial arts. Kasi may ganun sa na-involved. Exciting though, exciting. Kasi... It's one of my dream role ko talaga. Alam niyo kick ass the movie. Yes. yes. Yun, yung 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 kalaban doon, yung alam si ni Don ano. Yung 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 spoiled brat, yung pinakalaban niya. Yun yung dream role ko. So kung magkontrabida ng douche kasi every time na sinasabi ko sa Art Center, so kung magkontrabida, pero tatawanan nila ako kasi hindi ka naman nakakatakot sa dream na point eh. Wow, goody goody na na mga best ng ganoon, pero spoiled brat ako and douche bag ako. Yun yung gusto kong role. Pero na sa akin yun yung balitan. Pero it's still in that genre. Medyo parang kick-ass yung gagawin namin. So, really excited. Do you, do you mind being stereotype Or typecast as uh, you cannot do other stuff? Not really. Like, it depends kung sino nagbibigay at saka kung binibigay. Kasi, sa totoo lang, hindi ako medyo nangingiwala sa pag sa stereotypes. Kasi, yung stereotypes parang press release lang naman yun eh or para lang madaling makategorize pa na yung work ko ngayon eh di ba? kasi yeah. syempre sa daming ini-interview tsaka sa daming na-interview kailangan may, may template na pero I believe na magaling ka actor kahit ano yung bigay sa'yo kaya mong bigyan ako sa nito pag-iiba yung character mo I don't mind getting gay roles all the time I don't mind, mind getting psychic roles all the time because I don't see them that way as long as klaro sa akin yung intention na nagbibigay ng movie and magkasundo kami I can do it I'm just wondering do you read comments in social media? yeah, yeah I do. does it affect you? Or, yes or does it get to your head? <laughs> yeah, it does it does but how do you cope up with it? Uh, I'm going to say that because social media education and transparency, like it's hanggat kaya ko, I try to educate these people na mga nagbabash, na either pasagot or minsan kau sabi mo naman na ayos pero laging meron sa kanya. Kailangan ko mag first attempt lagi na bigyan ng insight ng mga nagkakomment ng ganun. Pero at some point, you also have to take care of your mental health because it does affect your mental health. Unknowingly, you know, hindi na parang it, it messes with you. It still does. Pero yung sense of realness mo kung sino ka, kapag wala ka kasing meron kasing sakit kasi ngayon ng mga may social media na iba sila sa totoong boy, iba sila sa social media. Pero pag wala yun, if you're grounded in who you are, and then you you're the, still the same person when you're commenting and you're answering to these people. Parang hindi ka naman madadream. Parang you can never go wrong with that. So, kahit sagutin mo sila ng pahala or sagutin mo ng mabahit. Basta ikaw yun. Walang, walang pagsasisi ako. So, ayun. Eh, I'm transparent on social media. So from what you've gone through in the past, um, after um, the Protégé show, yeah. oh, then... The I uh, like your to, questions. Yeah. Um... Were you able to send out a voice for those who have gone through the same? Were you yeah, able to yeah. I, I, reach out to them also? I have um, mm -hmm. another emotional topic. I'm sorry um, if I, the, oh, no, I, I, I like it. Because uh, most teens or the young ones right now, they seem to have, um, they're more vocal now. Or if yes. not for those who are still more sensitive. Yeah. yeah. And, 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 they don't know how to cope. So they need someone like someone like you in the industry would send out a message uh, I, I've been advocating for mental health mm -hmm. for the longest time now. You, even when not when I started but a year after I started I guess because when I experienced it first time depression mm -hmm. uh, I was saved by 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 artists mm -hmm. without them knowing uh parang evidence eh. songs of evidence eh. save my life mm -hmm. and nung naramdaman ko yun do you gonna feel na whenever we get inspired and touched by these people Nasa sa atin yun, magdadeside tayo kung continue ba natin yung cycle. 
or are we just gonna let it stop there, stop with us? I decided to do that. A song helped me, a songwriter unknowingly helped me go through something. So I would love to do the same thing for others. So regardless, kahit isang tao lang yan, sa isang kwarto or sa isang concert hall, tapos may isa lang ako mong matulungan na buhay doon, priceless time sa akin. So ever since I've been keeping that in mind, that's why I'm also advocating for transparency in social media. And, and with songwriting and with everything I do, there's always that thing na parang turn that broken heart into a piece of art. So, ay, ganun. Uh, ang sarap ibubos yung mga nararamdaman mo doon kasi bukod siya nalalabas mo yung sama ng loob mo, yung pinagdadaanan mo sa craft mo. So, so sobrang naging real siya. Unknowing mo. May mga tutulungan ka rin na ibang tao na hindi mo alam. And I'm blessed enough to receive messages every now and then about Kami ko, your song helped me go through this. Kami ko, your, 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 yung role mo na ganito, tinulungan akong mag-out sa kami. You're team sa akin yun. And, and, kasi ganun din nangyari sa akin before. So, ano ka ngayon ginagawa? What kind of lessons do you want to impart? Sa family history na we are all storytellers. And um, this story being told sa family history, is just one way to tackle a lot of those points in a family. So, feeling ko lang mas ma-appreciate nyo to at saka mas ma-gustuhan nyo to if you're really kapag totoo ka sa sarili mong bahay kapag ina-acknowledge mo yung imperfections mo sa pamilya then you would really be touched by this journey this story. Hi guys, this is Miguel Morales. Manood kayo ng Family History showing July 24. And um, sana magustuhan nyo. Let us know what you think about it afterwards. Thanks. Thank you.